Still under a weather alert this evening. There is the potential for some slick roads and slushy roads this evening. This is a live look from our Southwest Motors camera down in Pueblo. Pueblo getting kind of a free pass this afternoon so far. Our Sean Rice reporting outside the Justice Center earlier, mm -hmm. or DA's office, I think, just yeah. not having to deal with any rain or snow, at least at the moment. Looks like this camera is atop a yeah. mast on a ship just kind of wiggling around there. Uh, Mary, we've seen some roads that are really seeing the impacts this afternoon. You're tracking where it's falling the fastest and the hardest. Yeah, we had a very heavy band of snow moving through northeastern El Paso County just about 30 minutes ago. If the ground temperatures were a lot cooler and there wasn't so much melting taking place, boy, we'd have a nice little snowstorm on our hands. But uh, overall, we're getting just a lot of melting, and we do expect some refreezing of some of this moisture on our surfaces overnight tonight. So please don't let your guard down. It's not, you know, we're not saying it's going to be a widespread big storm, nothing to that degree. But you know, you got to be careful on some of those bridges and overpasses especially because they can you know, accumulate black ice late this evening. Notice here across most of eastern uh, areas of the Colorado uh, locations, you'll notice across uh, La Junta, Los Animas, this is where we're getting some showers and thunderstorms still firing along that boundary that's kind of uh, trying to push through southern Colorado right now, kind of getting hung up with uh, some strong winds coming in out of the south and west. But that a cold front will continue to complete its journey across southern Colorado as we move through the evening time frame tonight. A few snow showers across uh, the foothills, and we're getting some heavier bands of snow that just recently pushed through in northeastern El Paso County. Look at that dark band that moved through uh, just about 30 minutes ago. That's now sliding up towards Simla and south central sections of Elbert County. Uh, Monument. Uh, still uh, picking up on uh, some moderate snow across the region. Uh, road temperatures in the 40s right now. We'll start to get into the 30s over the next couple of hours. So we'll have to watch those road conditions as we drop into the 30s in the next hour to two hours uh, where we start to accumulate some slushy roads and some slick conditions across the region. Uh, something we'll have to be particularly mindful of. As we take you to our peak internet camera here, Stratus IQ camera rather, uh, in Falcon, you'll notice that we've got a lot of cloud cover and even still a few residual flurries across the region. Most of the accumulating snow will be on grassy surfaces late this evening and will do so across Teller County and Western El Paso County overnight tonight where winter weather advisories are in effect until 9 a.m. on Saturday. So as we walk you through that forecast, you'll notice that snow and rain will continue to pivot across the Pikes Peak region through this evening with showers and thunderstorms still ongoing across the eastern plains this evening. You can see that north wind rushing in across the Arkansas River Valley, uh, still triggering some showers and thunderstorms across the southeastern plains late this evening, uh, still with that west flow across the Raton Mesa after 8 o'clock. Uh, but we do expect that north wind to take over in Springfield after about 9 o'clock this evening. We'll have a brief break in the activity between about 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. We do expect another little push of moisture to start to come through Fort Collins after midnight tonight and onward into the Palmer Divide. May see a few little additional snow showers between 1 and 4 a.m. At that point in time, temperatures will be in the 20s and 30s across the region and ground temperatures will be cooling off even more. As we move through about 8 o'clock in the morning, don't be surprised to wake up with a little filter sunshine, but then a little bit more cloud cover through the afternoon will take place as we have another pivot of energy kind of coming across Cheyenne, Wyoming on the back side of the system that will start to give way to another round of a few thunderstorms that will start to fire up around Denver between noon and 2 p.m and then sliding across El Paso County into the afternoon time frame. But we will get that return flow out of the north that will continue to take over across the state, kind of reinforcing a shot of cooler air for us on Saturday. Rain primarily across the eastern plains with some slushy snow showers for local mountain cities and higher terrain areas will continue overnight tonight through early tomorrow morning. And then we'll start to clear out Saturday afternoon with some partial sunshine returning. Temperatures will be cooler tomorrow in the 40s and 50s for the Pikes Peak region, the 30s for Woodland Park, Park on Saturday and 50s for Canyon City and into the upper 50s across the eastern plains. Ample sunshine. Sunday is going to be the day, folks. You want to be out and about doing hiking, biking, anything your little heart desires. You should do it on Sunday. It's going to be beautiful. Very nice. Good for the soul. Uh, temperatures do start to warm back up into the 60s for Monument early next week. We do look for our next chance of precipitation by Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Until then, it'll be a nice little warming trend that will return. Colorado Springs into the 40s near 50 degrees tomorrow. Decreasing sunshine. Don't cancel your outdoor plans into the afternoon. Do you think we'll be clearing out, drying out, and then 60s return on Sunday with plenty of sunshine in the forecast. Pueblo into the 50s on Saturday with a wintry mix in the morning still lingering through the region. Most of the area starting to clear out though. 
and Canyon City will be back in the 60s on Sunday with 70s on Monday. Back you guys. Very nice. All right, Mary, thank you. Wall Street tumbled a bit today.